Do you know that the unemployment rate in Nigeria is rising geometrically as the population increases? Unconfirmed statistics has it that thousands of graduates pass through the mandatory National Youth Service Scheme every year without the hope of getting a job after the exercise. And welcome to Career and Employability Talk with Shegu Akio. Without good direction, people lose their way. The more wise cancer you follow, the better your chances. Welcome to Career and Employability Talk with Shegu Akiode. In episode 1 of Career and Employability Talk, we're able to establish that your career is embedded in your personality because the creator made it so. As a result, you need to discover yourself in order to chart a successful career journey of your own and not what society dictates. Today's episode is titled, Who Are You? For you to do this effectively, let us quickly consider what you are not. Hmm. Society seems to have confined our definition of ourselves to a few things, such as 1. Society tell us that you are your circumstances. I stand to challenge that thought now and say, you are not your circumstances. That the circumstances is good or bad does not decide or define who you are. That it is negative does not change your personality. But if you get that wrong impression to equate yourself to your circumstances, then you'll be getting the wrong definition of who you are. Secondly, society has told us that we are what we do. I stand to challenge it again. You are not what you do. If you introduce yourself as, I am a banker, does that make you a banker? Not exactly. You only work in a bank. You are not a banker. Please, that does not define you. You are not what you do. Thirdly, society make us to recognize and make us to assume that we are the rules that we take up. In the growing up phase of our lives, we have taken up different roles in life. If you are born, you become a baby. Then you become a toddler. Then you become a teenager. Then a youth. Then an adult. When you get married, you become a father or a mother. Now, those are roles we pick up in the point of growing up. But those things do not really define our intrinsic value or our intrinsic personality. They are completely different from who we are. Now, the major reason why we have to look at some of the false identities which society has impounded on us, has been able to confine on us, is the fact that once we're able to loosen our grip on those false identity, we will be able to open ourselves to exactly understand who we are. So, once you understand that those false identities are not who you are, then it makes it gives you a clearer understanding and it gives you the ability to be able to understand yourself. And one thing that is very key is that self-discovery is a process and not an event. You don't understand yourself or discover yourself in one day. It's going to take series of steps, series of missteps to be able to understand yourself. It's not an event. It's a process. And it's something that continues even in the course of your life. So even at the point of um, getting or deciding on a career, uh, even as you make that decision, there's going to be continuous discovery. The process of self-discovery is even very critical, even in a job interview. Permit me to share a scenario with you. Uh, fair, uh, uh, weeks ago, I was in an interview session and I was interviewing a couple of people. At least I've been able to interview a couple uh, close to 10 or like um, 15. And a certain candidate walked in into the interview room. And I noticed something that was so much different about that individual. I could not really put my finger on that situation until when she started speaking. And at that point, I asked her a simple question. I said, can you tell me about yourself? as I've asked other candidates even before that particular individual came in. And she started. My name is Jade Sola Williams. She began. My friends call me Jade. 
I love meeting people and I believe I can be the best in whatever I put my mind to. Although I studied biochemistry at Waterloo University, my passion is journalism. I found this out when I tried my hands on a departmental publication in my second year and the publication came out successfully and people started commending me and say, Jade, you're so good at journalism. Why didn't you take up a career in that? Though I'd done biochemistry, I, it became a point of discovery for me and I sat, I kept on trying to see how I'm going to exploit that possibility and on and on and on Jadis Sola William went. Sincerely, I forgot I was in an interview session because Jadis was really expressing herself and not simply repeating the content of her resume. That was where most of the other candidates before Jadis Sola got it wrong. For example, if I can recall very well, a certain Jagede was asked the same question Jade Sola was asked and he started in his own way by saying my name is Jegede Olowu, a native of Babakuta in Ogun State. I have an HND in marketing from Babalola Polytechnic. I, I do this, I do that and he went on. Little wonder I can even remember what he said. That was where the real difference was between Jade and Jegede. What was that real expression? Jadi, had a, Jadi was able to discover herself somewhere along the line during her university years. And as a result of that, she, pro- she was able to project that same discovery at the point of the interview. And I must really tell you, as a recruiter I, uh, that, I, that I am, one very interesting thing that I've got to understand is that candidates that come to the interview room and they are asked this question, can you tell us about yourself? It is actually a question of self discovery which the interviewer or the employer wants to be able to know they want to know if you've been able to discover your own uniqueness because in any individual even in every personality there's a unique value proposition that you bring to the workplace there's a unique value proposition that you're expected to display even in your life and that value proposition is going to determine a whole lot about yourself And that's the whole essence of this episode of Career and Employability Talk. The ability for you to be able to discover your own uniqueness. In a few minutes, we're going to be looking at some questions or some key areas that are going to be able to help you reveal a little about yourself. I've told you it's, a, it's, it's more like a journey. It's not an event. So it's not something that would happen today. So when you do a career uh, discovery session, it's something you should continually make an habit to continually check and be able to know what are some of the things that I've discovered myself in the course of my, uh, my, my university, in the course of leaving the university, in the course of my work life. What new things have I discovered? So in a few minutes after this short break, I'll be sharing how you're going to go about it with you. Welcome back. Now, the various areas which you're going to be looking at, which are more like um, indicators in the journey of self-discovery, one thing that you should know is that self-discovery starts with self-assessment because that's the very first start. So, now, what are those key indicators? One, your values, your interests, your personality, and your skill. Now, in the school of self-discovery, there are various, uh, various um, theories. Uh, basically, I don't want to bore you down with the theoretical uh, points, but I want to make it as simple as possible. That's why I've been able to reduce it to these four indicators. And those four indicators, once again, are values, interest, personality, and skill. Now, don't forget in our earlier episode, I've been able to tell us that we're creatures of nature and nurture. And there are a few personal values to start with that some of us have been able to pick up, pick up by virtue of our belief system. Now, there are a few belief systems which we have been exposed to at the point of growing up. And some of these things has really formed our values. Some of us were taught when we were growing up that, um, you know, a very interesting one is that you should not eat by the door side. And when you do that, you're not going to get full. And... Um, between me and you now, some of us will realize that the major reason why some of our parents say that is just they want to just discourage that particular habit in us. Not really that we are not going to get food. You can stand anywhere and eat and even if you go for buffets, you understand you don't really need to sit down. But what I'm trying to say in essence is that those values, those little, little things that we pick up from our culture, that we pick up from our belief system, tends to influence our personal behavior. It tends to influence our attitude and they serve as a broad 
guidelines even as a career decision so basically your values are very very key now the other side to it is your interest what exactly do you enjoy doing for some of us this comes like hobbies this comes like things we can do without being paid for some of us enjoy dancing some of us enjoy just talking and in my own situation i enjoy knowledge sharing and that's the essence of this podcast now these are indicators to exactly telling you about who you are the third one is your personality i'm sure this is a deeper one this can take a whole episode but i'm going to cover it very very briefly a person's individual traits motivational drives needs and attitudes when we're talking about individual traits your own uniqueness your own unique value proposition something that makes you different even twins are completely different they may be identical or non-identical but in their in their dna there are some certain things that have been wired into their dna that makes them completely different now in terms of personality types i'm sure the broad categories for some individuals are talking about introverts extrovert talking about uh, personality types as uh, talking about your sanguine uh, talking about your melancholy your phlegmatic these are beginning to give you an idea of exactly who you are and what it means is that these are indicators basically and lastly before we go a skill majorly when you look at a skill a skill is a learned ability to carry out a task with predetermined results often within a given amount of time energy or both now what this means is that um in other words the ability that one possess so there are a few abilities there are a few uh, learned abilities so skill the skill part is in two ways there are a few of them that are learned so definitely you can learn a, a skill speaking public speaking is a skill that can be learned and at the same way public speaking can be an ability which an individual can possess so the individual the, the one that individual possesses it's raw the learned part now becomes what refined now these are indicators which are being embedded in our personality by the creator and basically i go over them we're talking about the value system talking about some of the values which you picked up talking about your interests talking about your personality traits or personality types and talking about your skills all these four indicators are meant to give us a better understanding of who we are a better understanding of who you are and let me say an understanding of this individual trait gives you a comprehensive picture of yourself and what is important to you in life which you can then apply in determining your career fit. It's been a very great time today on career and employability talk. A few recap before we go for today. One, we started out by letting you know why there's a need for you to discover who you are. We went ahead to look at some of the things that you are not. You are not your circumstances, you are not what you do, and you are not the roles. I went ahead to look at why self-discovery is good, even at the point of a job interview. The whole essence is able to help you understand that your own unique value proposition is what you bring to the table, even in the workplace. And in closing, we're able to look at the four key factors in discovering who who you are. We looked at values, we looked at your interests, your personality, and the skills both learned and acquired now that we've been able to look at these things i want to believe that you've been, you have you are better equipped to be able to define yourself because it's a journey of self-discovery and not an event and as i always say we are all works in progress thank you for today see you next time Thank you for listening to today's episode of Career and Employability Talk with Shegun Akiyode. To know more about Shegun Akiyode, follow his Twitter handle at Shegun Akiyode at S-E-G-U-N-A-K-I-O-D-E or visit his website www.shegunakiyode.com. See you next time.